Uh, we've got today with us Oscar Peirols and Jordi Bussom. We've been talking seriously about 5G. And one aspect, one detail that we want to focus in is on the uh, transport urban systems. That's why today we wanted to face this um, project with two major experts at Celnex. Uh, thank you very much for being with us. And can you please give me a quick answer on why is it so hard to have a good connectivity in underground transport systems? Underground is a really difficult context, mostly because it's a very packed physical space. And then there's another relevant factor, which is that in the underground, many homologations are, and certifications are required. On top of that, you have a, a very, very high concentration of people in the same area that is uh, difficult to find anywhere else. What is the real technological challenge to deploy this connectivity on the ground? The impact of changing anything is huge, and especially uh, impacting on already existing systems. So it's a coexistence of different end-to-end -end technologies that they need to be managed in a single, unique way. So you have to look at it in, in a different way that you would do in a big stadium where you can have a big uh, room for equipment and easy to find space for antennas and other uh, radi radiating systems. What about service management in urban transport system? A, a typical underground project has a couple of phases. First one is to set up, to make the installation, but the most important is one the service is provided on a daily basis to all citizens. That means you need to monitor on the way the platform or the network performs. Why is it so important or even sometimes crucial to have connectivity on the ground? Commuting in a big city, you have a lot of time. You want to be connected as you are above ground. You are making more out of your day. In fact, there are some smart cities worldwide that they say they are the city where the people is happiest. But what does that have to do with security or safety? When you think about underground, this is not only the front of house, the, the spaces which are public to the citizens, but there are many technical places where you need to provide connectivity because first responders, firemen, whoever, could be walking through those spaces in case of an emergency. We have to think that we are providing information and content to the users, but that communication has to coexist with the security network. Celnex has been working with critical communications since more than 20 years ago, providing networks with a very strong resilience and ensuring that those communications will be there even in the worst conditions. What is Celnex expertise in this field? Celnex today is managing more than seven urban public transport networks. That means, roughly speaking, half billion passengers yearly basis. I would like to conclude by knowing what connected public transport means. For cities, it's a way to improve its competitiveness and to provide the best services to its citizens. For passengers, it's not having to differentiate what they do when they are above ground or underground. And connecting public transport means for mobile network operators. It means um, providing their customers with the solutions they really need and also a way to add value and probably get even more revenue.